how you guys doing uh, this is gonna be a quick video and it's just gonna be uh, some tips uh, when it comes to threads um, let me see if I can get a little bit okay we got a zoom um, so if you thread and let's say this is gonna be the part right so if you're gonna look at the thread from the from the face front of the part the thread will start somewhere here right and then it will continue go across the go across the part something like this if by any chance you ever decide especially if you're new that uh, maybe you got a chatter okay or your thread looks like crap uh, maybe um, it's gonna look a little torn up um, it doesn't have a nice lo looking finish do not ever change your RPMs till you finish that particular part because what's gonna happen is you are gonna run your cycle for example you have your um, a surface speed set to 200 and you're gonna change it to 220 your thread is gonna enter somewhere else let's, let's say it's gonna enter here so what's gonna happen is if this is your thread it's gonna do this this is what you call cross threading so technically you're gonna mess up your thread so always wait till you finish the cycle your thread is good if you got a second part then uh, make adjustment on the second second part never make uh, speed adjustment uh, because like I said you're gonna end up with the cross thread uh, so that's gonna be your tip number one now tip number two is for example you got a part and for example you have to remove the part out of your machine even if it comes to to check actual threads right you might have a part that's that's super huge um, and for example and you don't have a external gauge um, you know you don't have wires or whatever and you need to uh, take it to let's say inspection or or so, you know to check it somewhere else so there's a way where you can actually remove the part put it back in and it's gonna continue threading in the same spot so if you have a part let's say uh, this is gonna be your jaw so I'm gonna say let's say this is your part this is your jaw one right two three what you do is you'll have to mark that part exactly where the jaws were holding that apart so then you're gonna mark jaw one jaw two jaw three this helps especially if you're gonna do a part and you know you're gonna have to remove it what's gonna help you is try to get uh, the jaws to open as little as possible so you almost have that perfect fit so that way when you're gonna be closing the jaws there's a last chance of your part shifting a bit obviously with the smaller threads you have to be that on if you got a larger threads you know you give it a little bit more room but if you put your jaws you know if you put your part exactly what it was if you mark them and you align the lines perfectly then you can continue threading and uh, and you're not gonna cross uh, uh, you're not gonna cross your threads so and it works same thing with milling and with other spots so all your positions and everything get adjusted to your actually jaws okay so this is a uh, tip number two a uh, tip number three it's gonna be you receive a part from a customer or uh, inspection checked it and your threads are not deep enough so you your gauge doesn't go in so there's a for me it's pretty easy because I've done a lot of times it takes me about a minute to two minutes to figure it out uh, where to enter I know and I've heard this before there is an option on the Mazak where you can bring the tool bring it down to a thread right like almost align it perfectly you teach the machine and it's gonna enter in the same spot but what you can do and this is what I do so let's say you have your threading two inches um, you're making number eight threads right so it's gonna have eight threads per square inch and your lead is going to be 125,000 right that's gonna be the that's gonna be the pitch so 125,000 times eight will give you one so what you do is technically the only thing you change and if you guys watch my previous videos when I usually thread I put my angle at 50 and if you put your angle at 60 
like if this will be your insert this is how it gets deeper and deeper and deeper it feeds in right it feeds in like this it feeds in with an angle of the thread and that usually helps to relieve some of that pressure that comes in you know uh, with the threading and helps to uh, deal with uh, chatter at this point what you're gonna have to do you change the angle okay to zero so angle zero and then what that means if you're gonna see your insert run your insert is gonna run right in the middle so that this will be even better it's gonna run like this okay and you you gonna so you watch you watch your thread go go through uh, you watch your insert to go through the threads right so make sure it's following this particular pattern so for example if your pattern if your insert is a little bit closer to this face then go and uh, do minus 10,000 offset right minus 20,000 offset oh and just before I forget if uh, number eight thread is 80,000 deep right so what I would do is I would go uh, bring your offset to even minus uh, plus 100 so that means your insert is gonna be running you know above the above your thread and once you see you're like pretty close you're not right at the top of the insert you can stop the machine send it home make adjustments right so make uh, let's say you know uh, 10,000 for example and then you're gonna run it and you're gonna see it's a little bit closer to that right if it's still not in the center do another 10,000 or 20,000 what you know depends how far you are once you look it's pretty close then start going with your offsets on the minus so let's say from 100,000 I would go to 50,000 right so you're still above and then you see if you're closer to this one you're closer to this one or you're right in the middle if you're right in the middle then drop another 20,000 and get it till you're almost dead on and then once you know once you start to pick up on both sides then what I would do I would bring it uh, with the offsets to uh, pretty much where you have to get to be so can be 10 15 minus 20,000 usually where I get uh, these particular uh, threads same thing with insight uh, insights are actually possible to uh, to redo they're a little bit more trickier take a little bit more time um, you know if you got a big part you could actually see the thread if it's a smaller part obviously you know you have very little visibility especially if you have a large in, uh, let's say uh, uh, threading bar right uh, which you, you can always usually what I did was if I had a for example thread I would go and use a marker use a marker on this side maybe on, on this side if you can see it and let's say if your insert is here and it's already starting to you know touch the marker remove some of that ink right then you can start uh, pulling it back a little bit with your offset but let's say you know again if you're trying to go this way you go on a plus if you're going this way then you go on a minus with the offset right so also there's another good way to do it um, it's good to have a little bit of clay there, there there is a clay that you can buy I think it's like even a machinist clay and what do you do so like imagine if you have a tooth for example and obviously you would see the thread from the, I don't know this is this kind of looks like shit so let me redo this so let's say we have a part right here right this is gonna be our ID and then you're gonna see those threads right so put a little bit clay over here like on one two or even three pieces right so like if you're gonna look at from the side let's say you fill that clay a little bit like this and what do you so and it's all only gonna be in a one section right so this is you have a little a, a clay and rest of the threads are gonna be clean so usually the way you can do it is you know start to uh, work through that clay and then you're actually going to see that clay starts to uh, you're starting to pick up that clay at the end of the threads then you can bring it back right with an uh, offsets you know you put on a plus or uh, let's say if you're a little bit too close you know too close to this side you can also go on a minus right and you're gonna push it in this way so technically you're cutting the clay and that piece that you cut it if it doesn't the center doesn't align with you know let's say with these with these threads 
then like this is will be like the easiest where you can uh, obviously you can change uh, what do you call it where you can still recut uh, you know the thread that's not that hasn't been uh, deep enough cut um, you can also like I said play with your RPMs with RPMs obviously you know they change your ent entrance position so you can shift uh, insert in and out but that's gonna be a little bit more of a play because now you're gonna have to shift like RPMs on every time you know if you let's say if it went if it starts too early then you're gonna have to slow it down if it's too fast so you'd have to you know it's like a trial and error with the offset it's like I said it's just much easier so um, like I said I mean that's uh, technically that would be it for uh, for this video um, I'm hoping somebody got something good out of this one and uh, thank you for watching and see you next time